The island of Hawaii pulses with life, a vibrant ecosystem teeming with flora and fauna. But this lifeblood isn't carried in veins, it flows as molten rock, a river of fire that shapes the land. Kilauea on the island's southeastern flank is the most active volcano on Earth, a testament to the island's dynamic nature. It is a place of constant change, where the very ground can shift and transform in a heartbeat, creating new landscapes in mere moments. Kilauea is not just a mountain, it is a force of nature, a reminder of the immense power that lies beneath our feet, waiting to be unleashed. For the Hawaiian people, Kilauea is sacred ground, the home of Pele, the revered goddess of fire, and volcanoes. Her fiery temperament is reflected in the volcano's frequent eruptions, each one a dramatic display of nature's raw energy and power. But Kilauea is not simply a destructive force, it is also a creator. Its eruptions, while capable of great destruction, also give birth to new land, expanding the island and shaping its destiny, adding to the ever-growing landscape. The study of Kilauea is a window into the Earth's fiery heart, revealing the secrets of our planet's inner workings. Scientists from around the world are drawn to its slopes, eager to unlock the secrets of its fiery breath and to understand the processes that drive volcanic activity. Their findings help us understand not just Kilauea, but volcanoes around the world and the powerful forces that shape our planet, influencing everything from climate to the formation of new land. The Hawaiian Islands are a chain of volcanic peaks, born from a hot spot deep within the Earth's mantle. Imagine a plume of molten rock rising from the depths, burning through the Earth's crust to create islands of fire. Kilauea is one of these fiery offspring, its birth dating back some 210,000 to 280,000 years. It rose from the ocean floor as a submarine volcano, its eruptions hidden beneath the waves. Over millennia, lava flow after lava flow built up the volcano's mass, slowly pushing it above the surface. Around 100,000 years ago, Kilauea finally broke free of the ocean's embrace, its fiery summit reaching for the sky. Even today, Kilauea continues to grow. Lava flows solidify into new land, expanding the island's coastline. This ongoing process is a testament to the power of volcanic activity, a constant reminder that the Earth is a dynamic, ever-changing planet. Kilauea's history is written in fire, a saga of relentless eruptions and fiery displays. Since its emergence from the sea, it has erupted countless times, each eruption leaving its indelible mark on the landscape, reshaping it with every flow. The summit caldera, a vast, cauldron-like depression, is a testament to the volcano's explosive past, a reminder of the immense forces at play beneath the surface. The first recorded eruption of Kilauea dates back to 1790, marking the beginning of its documented history. It was a violent affair, a powerful explosion that sent a plume of ash and gas high into the atmosphere, darkening the skies and altering the environment. Since then, there have been over 60 eruptions, each one unique in its intensity and duration, contributing to the ever-evolving story of Kilauea. Some eruptions are effusive, characterized by the slow, steady outpouring of lava, creating vast fields of new land. These flows, while destructive, can also be mesmerizingly beautiful, rivers of fire snaking down the mountainside, glowing brightly against the night sky. Other eruptions are explosive, sending columns of ash and gas miles into the air, accompanied by showers of molten rock and volcanic bombs, a dramatic display of nature's power. Each eruption, whether gentle or violent, shapes the landscape, creating new landforms and altering the course of rivers and streams, a continuous cycle of creation and destruction. The history of Kilauea is a testament to the relentless power of nature, a force that both creates and destroys, leaving behind a legacy of awe-inspiring beauty and formidable power. The year 1959 saw Kilauea unleash a spectacle that would forever be etched in the memories of those who witnessed it. It was a year that marked one of the most dramatic volcanic events in Hawaii's history. The eruption, centered in the Kilauea Iki Crater, began with a series of earthquakes, a prelude to the fiery drama about to unfold. These tremors were the Earth's way of signaling the impending volcanic activity. On November 14th, the Earth split open and a fiery curtain of lava shot into the air. The ground trembled as molten rock surged upwards, creating a spectacular display. 
This was no ordinary lava flow, this was a fountain of fire, a jet of molten rock reaching heights of over 1,900 feet. The sheer power and intensity of the eruption were awe-inspiring. The night sky glowed red, illuminated by the incandescent spray of lava. The fiery glow could be seen from miles away, casting an eerie light over the landscape. For weeks, the fountain continued to erupt, feeding a growing lake of lava within the crater. The relentless flow of molten rock transformed the crater into a bubbling cauldron of fire. The air was thick with the roar of the eruption, the hiss of escaping gas and the clatter of falling cinders. The sounds of the eruption were a constant reminder of the volcano's immense power. The 1959 Kilauea Aiki eruption was a display of nature's raw power, a reminder of the awesome forces at work beneath the Earth's surface. It was an event that showcased the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet. Section 5, A Village Vanishes, the 1960 Kapaho eruption. If the 1959 eruption was a spectacle, the 1960 eruption was a tragedy. On January 13th, fissures opened on the East Rift Zone, miles from the summit caldera. Lava fountains erupted, sending rivers of molten rock racing towards the sea. In the path of this fiery deluge lay the village of Kapoho. Residents had little time to evacuate as the lava advanced relentlessly, consuming everything in its path. Houses, businesses, even the town's famed warm springs disappeared beneath the molten rock. The 1960 Kapoho eruption was a stark reminder of the destructive power of Kilauea. It showed that the volcano's reach extended far beyond its summit and that even seemingly safe distances could be consumed by its fiery wrath. Section 6. A Slow Motion Catastrophe. The 1983-2018 Pu'u'o'o eruption. The 1983 eruption of Kilauea marked the beginning of one of the longest and most destructive volcanic events in recorded history. This eruption centered at the Pu'u'o'o vent would continue for 35 years, relentlessly reshaping the landscape and forever altering the lives of those who lived in its shadow. Unlike the dramatic fountains of 1959, the Pu'u'o'o eruption was characterized by slow-moving lava flows, but these flows, while less visually spectacular, were no less destructive. Over the decades, they consumed homes, forests, and even entire communities. The town of Kalapana, once a thriving coastal village, was buried beneath a sea of lava. The black sand beaches, once a popular tourist destination, were engulfed the coastline redrawn by the relentless advance of the molten rock. Section 7. Fury in Puna, the 2018 Lower East Rift Zone. Eruption. In 2018, Kilauea unleashed another fiery torrent, this time targeting the Lower Puna district. The eruption, which began in May, was a stark reminder that even after decades of relative quiet, the volcano's power remained undiminished. Fissures opened in the earth, spewing lava fountains and sending rivers of molten rock coursing through residential neighborhoods. The air was thick with the acrid smell of sulfur dioxide and a plume of ash and gas rose high into the atmosphere. Over 700 homes were destroyed as the lava advanced relentlessly. The eruption also claimed a cultural treasure, burying part of the ancient Hawaiian village of Kapoho, a site of historical and archeological significance. The 2018 eruption was a stark reminder of the ever-present danger of living in the shadow of an active volcano. It highlighted the need for careful planning, effective monitoring and a healthy respect for the awesome power of nature. Section 8. Kilauea. Today, a restless giant. Even today, Kilauea remains a restless giant. The 2018 eruption may have subsided, but the volcano is far from dormant. Scientists closely monitor its every tremor, every puff of gas, every subtle change in the landscape. The summit caldera continues to rise and fall, a sign of the magma chamber refilling deep below the surface. New fissures could open at any time, spewing lava and ash, reminding us that we live on a dynamic, ever-changing planet. Kilauea is a powerful reminder of the forces that shape our world. It is a place of both beauty and danger, of creation and destruction, a testament to the awesome power of nature. Section 9. A Legacy of Fire, A Future of Change. 
Kilauea's legacy is etched into the very landscape of Hawaii'i. Its eruptions, both past and present, have shaped the island, creating new land, destroying old and reminding us of the awesome power of nature. The volcano's fiery breath has given birth to unique ecosystems, from lush rainforests to stark lava fields, each home to a remarkable array of life. But Kilauea's story is far from over. It remains a restless giant, its future eruptions impossible to predict with certainty. One thing is sure, Kilauea will continue to shape the destiny of Hawaii, its fiery breath both a creative and destructive force. As we study Kilauea, we learn not just about volcanoes, but about the Earth itself, its dynamic processes and the delicate balance of life on our planet.